Right then. Let us prepare the team that will storm Castle Harganthia. Don't worry. We'll get this done lickety-split. Yep. We've got a score to settle with that arch-revenant piece of trash. I know the castle well, and intend to personally deliver Dirard his comeuppance. But you may have the privilege of attending me. All right, Marissa. We're counting on you. If this works, it will strike a huge blow to the Dukes. Luck be with you. Consider it done. Is everyone ready to teleport? Our destination is Castle... Um... Hardisgarth. <sighs> Holy crap! <sighs> Are we alive? Because there were a lot of detours that time. It's fine! Perfectly fine! I make no mistakes! Oh, Carrie! You are a paragon! I'm pretty sure we almost died. Paragon! Say it! Unless you think you can do better, I could send you... Nope, you nailed it. No complaints. This is unmistakably the right castle. However, Hardisgarth is the castle's old name. How did she know this? So, uh, the castle's floating, right? I'm guessing that's because of the rune lens. Correct. The magical overflow holds her aloft. a face I thought not to gaze upon again. Were he wise, he would have remained in his slumber, instead of clambering back to his own subjugation. Ever the fool. Don't you agree? Marcus. My king. My king, you have returned. My king, my beloved. This castle of corpses was our abode. It's not even the passing of centuries enough to dull our human attachments. Or is it simply that his are abnormally strong? <laughs> the latter, perhaps. I suppose it does take a tenacious man to vie for his kingdom, even after being rendered a corpse. I am finished! of mechanical engineering. All right. Now what? I don't think the castle goes any higher than this. We meet again, old friend.
The thief who stole my throne shall not address me as friend. On this day, I avenge myself, Dirad. He's not the only one here for vengeance. You're gonna pay for what you did to our village. I was worried you'd be off with your army of dead guys, but this works out nicely. Two birds, one stone. And what do you mean by that? We can take care of you and this castle's rune lens in one fell swoop. Luck is smiling on us today for sure. <laughs> How absurd. It was a boorish mistake to intrude on me and my beloved. And such things must be punished. To trespass. Least of all, these living wretches. What the? <sighs> it's her. Your sins pile upon each other, Dirad. Sins? You mean love? As soon you shall see. I'm gonna tear you apart! Oh, baby! I'll do all I can. But sins? You mean love? As soon you shall see. I'm gonna tear you apart! Oh, baby! I'll do all I can. Very well, if you insist. Behold my man. 
magnificent power. We did it! Yeah, somehow. Man, was she ridiculously strong. No! What have you done? Come back to me, my beloved! Could you not hear her soul crying out for salvation? After her beauty changed and her life expired, she was lashed to this world against her will. Your love meant nothing to her. For what is eternal life to one who rejects it? No. No, no, no! Don't worry, pal. You'll be joining her shortly. Although, I think you might have just been dumped. Ouch. Must you, wretched guardians? Always stand in my way. Excuse me? You set foot where you didn't belong, and now you're gonna die for good! Get him, girl! Show that monster what the people of Yarnan are made of! Indeed, Dirard. You are not worthy of dying by my hand. Fear not, Guardian. Should you be struck down, I will animate your corpse and complete our revenge. Thanks, but I think I'll do it just right the first time. Poofa poofa pee! Say your prayers, Dirad. You're gonna pay for your nun. Oh, how I... This is not... You made it... that place so much then you should have died with it it's because I didn't that I can finally rid the world of you dying doesn't fix anything my friends taught me that loathsome creature you're one to talk
told you it was over. Impossible. You defiled my home. Do you know how special that place was? I had nothing. No one. Your nan was everything to me. And I'm not gonna let you take that away. Though our eyes no longer shed tears, we remember what it is to have a heart and to feel pain. No. This is mine. It was all mine. I will have my throne and my powers back now. No, no! Stay away! I'll not be vanquished by the likes of you! Farewell, miscreant. Your sins were many. But I shall not forget that I once named you friend. Is it over? Also, sounds like you two had quite the backstory. That tale ended centuries ago. To speak of it now would change nothing. What jealousy touched, jealousy destroyed, costing a man his friend and the woman he loved. Tis a threadbare tale. Hmm. Is that the primal lens? I'm ready. Very well. Let's begin by discussing our current situation. Great, can we start with how I talked until I was blue in the face just to convince this stubborn? You didn't convince me of anything. I am here because the fate of our entire race hangs in the balance. Commander Noah, I presume. My name is Lakian Arcathes Fawood. I come here on behalf of the Fawood clan as well as the Elvish Table of Elders. We have been informed of the Empire's Rune Lens research, the abductions in the Greatwood, and their pugnant violations of the League of Nations' sovereignty. The Elves will not turn a blind eye to such. We seek to join the Alliance. Your strength and courage would be most welcome. Thank you. Okay, is no one gonna give me any credit? <sighs> this isn't about you. I have asked the elves to shelter their army in the forest. We don't want to show our hand to the Empire too soon. There are other minor forces through the League's territory that have declared for the Alliance. Unfortunately, many have declared for the Empire as well. I have succeeded in bringing a large number of surviving Eucrisian and Norristuri troops here to the castle. However, I have not been able to account for General Electra, or Captain Maxim, who stayed in Athrobalt, or King Celis, who fled the city. The General was so brave. There are whispers of other groups who continue to oppose the Empire. Sadly, there is precious little time remaining to us. We should try to connect with as many of them as we can before our clash with the Empire. Yes. It's never too late to keep trying. Ah, so that's where those allied rats hide. From the look of it, one would hardly know they raised it from an abandoned citadel. Shall I leave the building unharmed, Your Grace? No. This castle will soon be their grave. I have no use for such a Golgotha. I cannot believe these stubborn wretches are still trying to swim against the flow of history. It is a castle of fools.
Shall I send a runner demanding surrender? If they're of a mind to capitulate, they'd have done so already. So we attack without mercy. Do you object, General Goldwyn? As I understand it, there are many children in the Alliance. Need we scatter lives so young to the wind? The General, hailed as defender of the Empire, is concerned about the lives of pups who bared their fangs at his motherland. Fortunately for you, General, your Emperor has already cast his judgment. I trust you will obey. I know my place. Narengard, where is that brutish corpse of yours? One moment. Greetings, Dukes Aldrich. You will be pleased to learn the rats who crept into my home are now sustenance for my beloved. Rest assured your plans may go forward unimpeded. They had better. They finally found us. Yes, but not as quickly as we feared. The delay has given us time to squeeze in a few last preparations. Speaking of, I've squeezed in a few more rescued soldiers. And I've squeezed our new recruits as hard as I can in their training. Got the troops outfitted too, but barely, and much to the annoyance of my extremely tired craftsmen and merchants. I finished preparing the magical ritual we'll use to signal Marissa. It took delicate adjustments to make sure I channeled the message correctly through the men here, but I'm so perfect, I got it on the third try. It would have been harder, except someone had already performed a similar rite there before. So... A final showdown with the Empire? Yar, I be ready to hustle! Let's knock those villains all the way back home, cousin! But if we lose... We won't. Not a chance. Right, Sane? That's right. This time we stop Aldrich no matter what. Some say victory and defeat are a breath apart. I say victory goes to those who work the hardest. We have earned this. Yep, there's no stopping us now. We can do this. The enemy is still readying their troops. There won't be a battle until the morrow at the earliest. Let us use this night to nourish our strength and courage. Good idea. We've done everything in our power. All that remains is to win. And we will. Hmm. So, um, good luck tomorrow and all that. It's going to be a very long day, Noah. Get some rest. You too. Let's get to work. <laughs> <laughs>